morning students and welcome to today's class so in the last class we finished with the chapter subtraction correct so we did uh, subtraction word problems last time and we completed it so in today's class we will be starting a new chapter that is called fractions okay so you all have learnt a few things about fractions in first standard correct that a whole is called uh, so when a part of a whole thing is called as a fraction so a part of a whole is a fraction right and you also know that a whole is uh, has two equal halves and a whole has uh, four equal quarters so i have studied various things about uh, fractions in first standard so let's see what you have done in first standard first and then we'll start with the portion for this class okay on this uh, topic okay so chapter name fractions page number 126 in your maths uh, in your books okay so first we have a warm up activity which is on fractions on what you have learnt already okay so fill in the blanks first a whole is made up of dash equal half so how many uh, halves are there in a whole there are two equal halves in a whole so you can write two as the first answer then a whole is made up of equal dash equal quarters so when you divide a whole into equal quarters how many quarters you will have you will have four equal quarters okay okay sorry so first answer was two okay so whole is made up of two equal parts and a whole is made up of four equal quarters now if four of us equally share a pizza each one will get a dash now there is a pizza okay and you know pizza are pizzas are circle in shape or round in shape so if four of us take one equally divide the pizza pizza into four equal parts and each of us eat one part so you each one will get how much each one will get a quarter okay each one will get a quarter of the pizza all right so when you divide a pizza into four equal parts then you are dividing it into four quarters okay so next question arun and arvind equally share a bar of chocolate so each of them get a dash so there is one bar of chocolate in which both are taking half half right they are equally sharing it so two of them are there so when you break a chocolate bar into equally among two people it will be a half for each so each of them get a half okay each of them get a half so you can write half as the answer here now shade one half of each of these figures so we have to shade one half of each of the figures so now first one we have the heart shape so here so they have told to color one half so here when you now they have drawn a line here so you see the line you realize that these are two parts here and both are equal so to shade one half what you will do you will shade one side of the heart any one side either this side or the other side okay so you have to color one side so this is one half okay so this shows two equal halves of the heart shape okay now the shape and the shape also you need to shade one half of it so you will shade one side of the line so these two are equal okay then here in this what is the shape the shape is square so if you have to divide it equally now if you see there is a line in middle correct so you will correct one side of the color one side of the line so the shaded part shows one half of the square it shows one half of the square okay now the square now they have made a line like this diagonally so when you color it will become a triangle so they are dividing the square into two equal triangles so this is one triangle and the non shaded one is the another triangle 
same way here also they have divided this square into two rectangles equal rectangles okay so this was question number two now moving on to question number three shade one quarter of each of these figures so one quarter means how much one part of four equal parts so one quarter will be how much in the circle we have four parts one two three four so four quarters so in these four quarters we have to shade one quarter so we'll shade this one quarter like this okay so this shows one quarter all right now here in this square they have divided it into four equal parts so in these four equal parts you need to share one uh, part okay that is in these are four quarters one two three four in these four quarters you need to share one quarter so any one quarter you can share or any one triangle you can share so it shows one quarter okay now in this shape also there, there are four equal parts or four quarters in that you need to share one quarter okay so this one quarter will shade now so now this shows one quarter okay so here we have a rectangle and we have how many parts here again one two three four parts or four quarters now in this four quarters you need to shade one quarter so we'll shade this quarter here okay so this shows one quarter all right so we saw what is half and what is quarter so this was a warm-up activity all right so now let's see uh, what we are going to study in this chapter so first of all let's see what are fraction or what is a fraction so as i said a fraction is a part of a whole okay a fraction is a part of a whole like a piece of a whole pizza or a whole pie so this is a pizza here so when you divide it into equal parts okay so a piece if you take away one piece then that piece will be a fraction of the whole pizza not necessarily on only one piece you can take away two pieces from the whole pizza so that will give you another fraction of the pizza so a fraction is a part of a whole so these are whole things okay so uh, another definition for fraction is a fraction is also a part of a set okay like a dozen cupcakes so here are a dozen cupcakes dozen means how much dozen means 12 so here there are 12 dozens sorry 12 cupcakes from these cupcakes if i take away one cupcake then that one cupcake will be a part of that dozen correct so it is a part of a set so it will be a fraction okay so this is a meaning of fraction so next we will study what are equal parts or halves so, so okay now for example you have a chocolate okay and you want to divide it into two equal parts okay you want one uh, you have one chocolate bar in that you want to give equal amount of chocolate to your friend so what you will do if you want to divide it into two equal parts you cut it in half see as they have cut this chocolate in half so each part has four cubes one two three four and this also has one two three four so these are two equal parts with four pieces each okay so thus one half of something means one part of two equal parts of that thing so one half is nothing but one part of two equal parts of a whole okay so one half or half can be written like this one by two okay this is read as one by two or half all right so this is how you represent a half so half is shown like this one by two okay one by two so this is how you show represent a fraction so this is how you write a fraction now here in this one okay one by two you're showing that uh, two means that how many parts are there okay how total parts so this two represents total parts or okay so this has two equal parts so total number of parts will be two so in that if i am considering only one part then it will be one by two or half one by two is equal to half all right so these are different diagrams here let's see which are half and which are not half if you see this first shape 
it has two equal rectangles it is divided the square is divided into two equal rectangles correct so this part is same as this part so this is a equal now what about this rectangle they have divided it into two parts but is it equal now if you see this first part which is not shaded it is very narrow or very thin but here this part the pink color shaded part is very thick the both are not same or both are not equal so this is not half okay this is not half now if you consider this heart is it uh, does it have two equal parts yes it has two equal parts now what about this heart now here only so much of the heart is shaded and the rest of that is not shaded these are not two equal parts so this is not a half okay this is not a half then what about this square now this square here has two parts but are they equal this one shaded part is quite narrow and the non shaded part is quite thick so they are not equal so it is not a half now what about this rectangle this rectangle is divided into two parts so the shaded triangle is is the same as this non shaded triangle so this is a half so here we saw three halves and three shapes which were not half correct let's see a few more examples then okay if you take an orange and cut it into two two equal parts that will give you half and orange so this cut part what you can see shows half and orange okay now circle if you draw a line on a circle like this in between it will show you half of a circle so this green part is one half of a circle and this pink part is another half of a circle then here glass is half full so when you fill up glass up to between or half so this glass shows you half correct if you fill it full it means it's a hole but here it is filled only half so it is half full or the fraction here is half okay so this part here shows you one half of the watermelon so this other piece if you see with the white color just assume you have eaten it and one half of the watermelon is left so this is half okay this is how you represent a half and what is the meaning of half okay so again a few more examples one half of the circle is green so here in this circle one half is circled green so these are two equal parts now in this rectangle you have a yellow square and a red square and both are equal so this is also one half so one half of the rectangle is red and in these two stars one is gold correct so one half of the stars are gold so one part out of two parts is called as half so what is half one part out of two equal parts okay next we will see what is a quarter or one fourth so what's a quarter now uh, there is a pizza okay the pizza has been divided into four equal parts the pizza is divided like this into four equal parts in these four equal parts one part is taken away okay when you eat one piece among these four pieces it means the portion of the pizza taken away is said to be a quarter of the pizza okay when you divide a shape or anything into four equal parts each part is a quarter each individual part is a one quarter now among these four pieces here i'll take one piece away so that one piece will be one quarter of the pizza okay when we divide something into four equal parts we cut it into quarters okay a quarter means one part of four equal parts so what does a quarter mean a quarter means one part of four equal parts now how do you write it in a fraction form first you write a draw a line like this and in below the line what you will write you will write total number of parts so how many parts are there here there are four equal parts in that four equal parts how many we have taken away one so one by four this is how you show one fourth or a quarter this is read as one fourth or one quarter okay so this is quarter now all these shapes here show one quarter okay so now this square is divided into four equal parts so this is one 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 and one so these are all equal so this shaded part what you can see here 
is one quarter among these four quarters. So this is one quarter or one by four. Now same here. Um, in the circle again they have divided into four equal parts. So the shaded part is a quarter okay or one by four. Same in this shape also. This is a hexagon. Okay, so one part is shaded here and this is one quarter. Okay, whenever you divide into four equal parts, a pa one part of four is called as a quarter. Now this kite also now if you see they have divided into four equal parts and one is shaded so this is one quarter this arrow mark now is it one, this shaded part is it one quarter yes because other three parts are also equal they all are equal and this one shaded is one by four or quarter okay then the star also again they have divided it into four equal parts so this is also one quarter okay this is equal to one quarter or one fourth okay i hope you all have understood what is whole half and quarter so this here if you see this orange circle completely shows one or a whole okay now this circle they have divided into two equal parts so it shows you a half or, the, or one by two here and here they have divided this circle into four equal parts and one part is shown by one by four or a quarter okay so this is one whole watermelon okay when a, one watermelon is divided into two equal parts so each part is one half and here one watermelon is divided into four equal parts so one part each part is one fourth okay so i hope you understood what is half and one quarter let's see some questions on this Page number 127 in your books. Okay. So, here question number 1. Look at these shapes and tick the ones that are 1 half. Okay. So, you have to tick the shapes that are 1 half. Now, you see this triangle. Are these? It's divided into two parts. But are they equal? Yes. They are equal. So, this is 1 half. So, we'll put a tick mark here. Now, this square. If you see, they have divided the square into 3 parts. So if you see this, uh, it is divided into three equal parts, not two equal parts. Okay, so this is not a half. So we'll leave that as it is. Not a tick, put a tick mark there. Now this circle. Now is this circle one half? No, it is not one half because here this part that is shaded and the part which is not shaded are not equal. Okay, because they are not equal, that they are not one half. Then what about this shape? We saw this in the examples, right? It is one half. Okay, now here this also. If you see, they have divided this shape into two equal parts and the shaded part shows one half. So this is also half. And if you see this shape, here they have divided again. Both are equal triangles and they have shaded one half of it. So this is also one half. Okay. Now, next page, question number one here. Take the shapes that are divided into quarters. Now, here they have divided this triangle into four parts. But are they all equal? They are not equal parts. So, this is not, they are not divided into quarters. Quarters means we need to divide it into equal parts. Okay, now this shape. Have they divided this shape into four equal parts? No, they are not divided. These all parts are not equal. Okay, now what about the circle? Now, if you see the circle, all the four parts are same and they are equal. So, this is divided into quarters. So, we will put a tick mark here. Now, what about this one? Now, this shape is also divided into four equal parts. So, this is also divided into quarters. What about this? Now, if you see here, this shape, even though there are four parts, now, these two parts are equal and these two parts are equal. But these two are not equal to these two. Correct. So, they are all four are not same as the other. So, this is not divided into quarters. And what about the last one? They are divided into four equal parts. Correct. So, we will put a tick mark here. Alright. Now, that was question number one. Now, question number two. Shade shade to show the fraction given below each figure 
okay you have to shade to show fraction given below each figure so first one what is it it shows one fourth one fourth means we have to shade one part so this will be one part okay you all please uh, color it or shade it neatly see that the color doesn't go out of the line okay and here it shows to color half so what you will do you will color one part of the circle there are two equal parts so in that we will color one equal one part so now this shows half you can use different colors if you all want okay next two fourth so here there are four parts in that you need to shade two parts so this is one okay and this is the another one okay so this shows two fourth so two fourth means two quarters or in four parts you have taken away two parts or you have shaded two parts so this shows two fourth now same way do for others also for homework same way color other parts also for homework all right in the next class we will see what are three quarters okay thank you students we will continue in the next class